Simply Applique allows you to easily export an FCM file from an Applique to cut with a Brother Scan and Cut machine. In Simply Applique, choose Add Design, choose Applique Shapes, and locate an Applique that you would like to use. Once you've located the design, you're going to left click on the design page to insert the design. Click on the Select tool and then click off the design. Click on the Tools tab and then click on the Scan and Cut button. An artwork file will be created. Go to the File pull down menu and choose Export FCM. Name the file and save it to your computer. Log into your Scan and Cut Canvas. Click New and then click the SVG button. This is where we bring an FCM file into the Scan and Cut Canvas. Choose the file and click Open. Click OK and then press Download. Click the Scan and Cut Transfer button to transfer this wirelessly to your Scan and Cut machine. There's one last thing we need to do in Simply Applique, and that's to save our embroidery file. Go to the File pull down menu, choose Save As, and save the design in your embroidery format. If you want to be able to edit the file later, you need to also save it as a BRF file. Now let's go to our Scan and Cut. Press the Pattern button to retrieve your pattern and choose from the cloud. The design will appear on your screen. I already have my fabric arranged on the mat, so I want to background scan. Press Start. Arrange the pieces on the fabric so that you have each of the letters where you'd like them to be cut. Once you have the pieces arranged the way you like, Press OK. Press Cut and then press Start. The machine will cut out your applique pieces. Press OK. Remove the excess fabric from around your pieces and peel the pieces off the mat. Now let's go to our embroidery machine. At the embroidery machine, press Embroidery, press the USB stick, and load your embroidery design. Press Set, and then press Embroidery. The design will appear on the screen. Load the hoop into the machine, put the foot down, and start your embroidery. The placement stitch for the L will stitch first. Place your fabric down on top of the stitches and embroider the tack down and the covering stitches. The placement stitch for the heart will stitch next. After it's finished, place your heart fabric down Press it if you would like to, and complete the applique process for this piece as well. Continue this process for the last two letters. 